Yeah. I Let's uh, get to start the comedy now. Uh, first, please welcome to the stage your host of the evening, Daryl Skipper! Woo! Right. So, let's explain about this night, right? It's um, it's called the... Does anyone know what the name of the actual name is? What I gave it? It's the ha Haberdashery, which I, I didn't mention before because I thought it's a stupid name, isn't it? But, is it? <laughs> I don't even, really, don't even really say it, it's not a word you can say, but it, it looks alright written down. But I, want, but I wanted to do it here because it's, not, it's a really cool little cafe, isn't it? It's like a nice little cafe. Um, I mean, it wasn't my first choice. My first choice was the Cat Cafe in Shoreditch. Have you, have you been there? Do you guys, does anyone else know what this is? The Cat Cafe? It's it's amazing. It's like it's a bit like this, like a little English tea room, right? But there's cats that live there. There's about there's about eleven cats in there. It's amazing. Yeah, and I, you know, there's about eleven cats. And I say about eleven cats to try and sound like I'm not a crazy cat man, but there's exactly eleven cats. And they're on Twitter, and you can follow them and everything. And it's it's kind of they're quite popular in cities these cat cafes aren't they because it's like for people to find have cats in their in their apartments and stuff so you can go there and spend some time with a cat it's um it's a cat brothel basically <laughs> for, for lonely people who want to have a stroke with a cat <laughs> but it is like a brothel isn't it because when you go there they've got like a window display and there's cats in the display like it's like amsterdam now i'm joking myself <laughs> it, when i went there there was actually a cat on a chaise lounge <laughs> Just like spread out, like, you know, tempting me in with a solitary gaze and a soft fur. <laughs> just, ask, just asking for it. And her name was Petra as well, which is quite a whorish name, I think. <laughs> and they, were even, they even got ground rules as well, which I imagine a brothel has those as well. So. <laughs> they do, they do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this so this cat cafe has ground rules as well. Like you can't you can't wake a sleeping cat. You can't have a cat. Um, no, you can have a cat in your lap, but it must be her decision and hers alone. And um, no kissing on the lips. As well. Their tongues. No, no. Well, I actually said you can't really kiss a cat on the lips because they don't really have lips, do they? Um, do they? <laughs> but they 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 said. Well, it's mouth then. Whatever it is, can you just stop it? <laughs> 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 no, no, it's a joke. It's a joke. I wouldn't kiss a strange cat on the mouth, would I? I kiss my own cats on the mouth. <laughs> people, that always gets that reaction. People think that's weird, but I don't get it. People kiss dogs all the time, don't they? And they're all back to my lips. Yeah, people let dogs yeah, slobber all over them. them. Yeah. I did. <laughs> She's kissed dogs. And who else has kissed dogs here? Oh, right, let's bring him on with a nice round of applause. Team Double J, you're going to start it off. That's you guys. Start the round of applause. Team Double J. Right? <laughs> Team Double J. house and then uh, for a barbecue for a mixed bunch of friends. Um, I was a bit worried they wouldn't all get on but luckily in the end none of them came. <laughs> so my first song is, uh, is um, a song I wrote well, I was over two summers. I was uh, I was working at a rock climbing centre in Wales, uh, teaching underprivileged children how to rock climb. And I know what you're thinking. Surely all Welsh children are underprivileged. But no, um, <laughs> it's racist. Uh, can't say that. And um, this is a song I wrote. 
you're inspired, and it inspired a lot of the kids. I hope you're inspired by it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on to the rocks. Thanks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so my name is Peter Basley, the future British comedy. Sometimes people laugh when I say that. Um, and my friend says, you can't call yourself the future British comedy. It's arrogant. But in my mind, the future is uh, not many people are doing it anymore. So most people have found better things to do themselves. Uh, the future of British comedy for me is very bleak. And uh, the place where I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song I wrote. After, uh, it's never fun to hear about sort of stuff on Facebook about people who used to go out with, but I did hear something, and you know what, I was alright with it, it's fine, I've written a song about it. Bitches <laughs> did it. Cross the street, you look left, should look right instead. Bitches <laughs> <laughs> did it. Bitches <laughs> did it. The N87 bus straight to a hill. Wasn't easy growing up on the streets, um, the mean streets of South London. Uh, well, actually, it was a rather nice cul de sac in Upper Norway. <laughs> So it did feel like there's only one way out. <laughs> 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 to joke, people who know what cul de sac is, <laughs> you'd be surprised how many of you don't know what it is. Um, it's, a short, it's a short road with a dead end. Um, uh, funnily enough, about a year and a half before I left that place, I uh, found out there was a way up the back. <laughs> And, uh, well, I don't mention that in the joke, I think that would ruin it. <laughs> so I uh, also, as well as being really good at music and, and comedy, I do poetry as well. I do some of that. It's uh, from an upcoming book called uh, Heartbreak Poetry by Peter Baisley. Um, Loneliness surrounds me, my only friend. Um, it's, um, 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 uh, ah, yeah. Um, let's start that again. Loneliness surrounds me like a stent. No. Uh, Loneliness, my only friend, surrounds me like a stench. Something, something, something <laughs> hit my head in with a wrench. <laughs> uh, next one, uh, this is the next one. Right. You and me were meant to be, we were first time lovers. Then you went and spoiled it all by sleeping with my brothers. That's called uh, family. <laughs> family of hamsters. 
Uh, hamster family. <laughs> Not sure about the title for that one. Um, uh, uh, someone once said to me, don't worry, there's women out there who like a guy with a distinct smell. <laughs> that one's called Mother. <laughs> well, uh, this isn't one of the gigs I'm going to be telling my grandkids about. Um, not because it isn't a good gig, it's a really nice gig. Um, uh, one of my best gigs. Um, personally, I don't like my comedy. Um, I find it slow and boring. <laughs> they're like two emos arguing over who's more numb. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell the grandkids about this gig because I'm not going to have any grandkids. Um, I'm going to have kids, but then I'm going to say, just stop, it's enough. It's too much pain in the world. So, um, currently, <laughs> I'm going to, um, going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I live on a boat, and uh, yeah, ladies, I live on a boat, and uh, yeah, ladies, I live on a boat, yeah, ladies. So I live on a boat, guys, and there's a saying in the harbour, they say, I've overheard it in the harbour, there's a saying, and they go, oh, if, if Pete's boats are rocking, uh, burglars are back. <laughs> it's, a really, it's a good harbour, we all look out for each other. I've had problems with uh, <laughs> This is the final song. Uh, this is the first song I ever wrote for my first ever girlfriend. I hope you like it. Uh, my name's been Peter Basley. Thank you, Daryl, for having me. Wonderful gig, lovely place. You've all been, uh, you've been good, you are all right? And um, so here's the last song uh, I wrote for my first ever girlfriend. Anticipation, hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs>